Chapter 2 As the settlement darkens in the early night, torches are lit and the tavern is full of patrons. Norman sits in his spot again, chair tilted and chugs a mug of beer, thinking about what Lancaster said. As before, he walks outside, a low-flying night raven flying by. Norman spots the omen. Just as he passes a barrel filled with water, his sigil goes off. And right as it does, a bald man in, in rags yells, Umfratuk, Ishka, Nagar, Janaz, come! And a spiny bluish green demon looking like a horrible lizard with many fangs and eyes going in all directions, slithers and crawls out from the barrel of water. The mysterious man says, Attack my precious one, make this fool suffer! Go now! He yells insanely. Norman whispers somewhat to himself, too easy, then lifts his left arm to reveal a glowing sigil among so many numerous ones on both arms. He pulls out a small bag and dips his index finger in it, applying a small amount of gray glowing balm. He rubs it on the middle of his palm and slams it down on the sigil. Now aware of something, he looks over to his left in the dark up against the building and notices the barrel again. He runs only a short distance and kicks the barrel apart, exposing the summoning circle underneath. It flashes and hums, sparking and flickering in intervals, out in intervals, then goes away. The demon explodes and the mysterious attacker with a surprise of terror on his face, pleads, Please have curse, please have mercy, kind one. You see, I am but a simple vagabond. A beggar on these streets, Norman replies lowly. What is your name? The man looks surprised and responds, Jacoby, my good sir, and nothing more, I swear it. Well, Jacoby, don't let me ever see you again, or next time you explode too. The man ran away, falling once into the dust-filled streets, running out into the wilderness and into the dust storm, which was getting worse. The next morning, a courier came to the town yelling, It's over, the battle. Norman hears from the window and leans forward and the chair legs banging against the floor. He walks out demanding the note, but the courier says, No, for Archmage Lancaster's eyes, I'm afraid, sir. Norman snatches it from his hand. Hey, exclaims the man. He reads the note as it says, Why is Archmage Lancaster? The town of Hypos was attacked last night by an Opak dragon. Few died, but many were injured in the assault. The repairs alone will take years to rebuild. We've captured an enslaver here in our fair town, and after some rigorous interrogation, he had revealed that the dragon was being controlled by his ally in your town, a fellow by the name of Jacoby, or rather his demon was controlling the dragon. Our resident priests have informed us that the dragon must have come to after someone in your town defeated the demon and the slaver controlling it. We must meet this hero and thank him properly for his actions. To whom it regards, the high post city guard, Captain Sampson.